Today on City State and Beyond the Brews, let's test hydrometers. Because nothing says exciting like testing hydrometers, right? Okay, we're not just testing hydrometers. No, we're testing graduated cylinders as well. Right. So because here is the hydrometer and cylinder we've been using. Here is the brand spanking new, not even released because we're testing it. Hydrometer. What do you notice about them? Look at how tiny it is. Now, there's a reason. This hydrometer, the standard triple scale, when you try putting that into a one gallon fermenter, it's probably not going to float. Okay? Whereas the little tiny one probably floats because if it goes all the way to the bottom, it's at 1.000. You're so also in, not going to get it out, which is yeah. a problem. Now, also, this is not completely full. It's really meant for like wide mouth fermenters. Now, this is a project that we have gone in with North Mountain Supply on because I said I wanted a hydrometer that was just as accurate as my regular triple scale, but also could be put right into a one gallon fermenter because a lot of people have asked for things like that. Also, if you look at these graduated cylinders, you can see clearly without any details the difference. They're both plastic, yep. but one is crystal clear while the other one is kind of foggy. They both have raised enumerations to help you figure things out if you need to know what your volume is for whatever reason. They're reason. actually both 100 mil uh, in size. They're yes. the same, same actual volume. Yes, but the crystal clear one is going to help you in mm. taking your readings. Now let's take a detailed look at the graphs on both of these hydrometers. All right, so looking at this, we have our old one on the left and the new one on the right. Look at the size of those numbers. They're huge. I mean, so much easier to read because that was something that a lot of people said too, is they had problems reading their hydrometer. Another thing that I requested was that it goes the full gamut from 0 0.990, which this one actually goes all the way down to 0 0.980, just so you know, all the way to 1.160. That's important. That way it's an all around usage. There are hydrometers that only run part of that scale. Yeah. I didn't want that. I wanted the whole thing. Now, it's also got a potential alcohol on it. So you can just get your reading and turn and wow, look at that. I know how much potential alcohol I have. That is absolutely fantastic. The other scale that it has, this is very, very interesting. and. I take this one with a little bit of a grain of salt. It is the grams of sugar per volume. So uh, per liter is what this is. So like, in, for instance, if you're at a 1.040, that's roughly 5%, but it's also about 100 or so grams of sugar in a liter. So really interesting to have. People ask that question a lot. Um, it, almost corresponds with bricks, but not exactly the same, but it's, it, it's in the same kind of thing. But for us, the two readings that we use the most is a specific gravity mm -hmm. and potential, potential alcohol. alcohol. All right. So first thing I want to do is test the accuracy. So we're going to just take some water. Now, when you're measuring water with a hydrometer, unless you are using distilled water at the exact correct temperature, you're probably not going to be at exactly 1.000, but you should be right around there. Like it should be within a couple of points. All right. Today's reaction. Um, this one, this is our old one, and it should be calibrated at 60 degrees. I know this water is not 60 degrees. It's probably more like 70 or 72. However, it is reading right at 1.000, so no problem there. Let's see what the new guy says. The new guy is 68 degrees calibration. So it's a little bit different calibration. That doesn't bother me so much. I just leave it where it is. And it is reading... 1.000. Now we had an earlier model of this that was pretty far off calibration. So it's really cool to see that the new one so far is accurate. But now that was just water. Now let's test it on a brew. We have some nondescript mead here. It happens to be our Aussie mead. So it's not nondescript. It's just, you know, it doesn't matter what the mead is. We have found that when you're taking gravity reading, if you put your hydrometer in your graduated cylinder first, mm -hmm. it's going to aid you because there's going to be displacement. And if you just fill your graduated cylinder with mead and then drop your hydrometer in there, you're going to make a big mess. Now, everything was sanitized too, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, this mead is fully finished, been pasteurized, it's stable. 
Um, I don't remember exactly what the gravity is, and I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Well, actually, I, I know what it is. Yep, 1.022. That's what it said on the label. That's what this hydrometer says. So, just to make sure that it's the exact same sample, and this way I don't have to take two samples, I'm just going to pour this right in. And if it reads 1.022, we may have a new contender for a new hydrometer. 1.022 on the nose. And look at how crystal clear that is. It's so easy to read. It, this is beautiful. I love this thing. This took a long time to get done, just so you know. Lots of back and forth, lots and lots of testing. Lots of lots cooperation of, between us, North Mountain Supply, and their, and their manufacturers. manufacturers. But fantastic. This is a winner. And um, a little spoiler, it's going to be in the Mead kit that will be coming out soon. All right. That's all we got for today. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.